Today I'll be going over CAS Quiz 1 review. It says on centimeter grid paper, I outline two different figures, each with an area of 8 square centimeters and a perimeter of 12 centimeters. So there are tons of answers for this. There's no one or two correct answers. So I could do, if I want to have a perimeter of 12 and an area of 8, that means that I can only circle in or box in eight of the boxes. So I could go like this and make a four by two. And let's check my work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have an area of eight. Now let's check my perimeter, make sure it's 12. Two on either side, four on top. Two plus four is six. And two plus four is six. And six plus six is 12. So I do have a shape that has a um, perimeter of 12 and an area of eight. And it does say figure, it doesn't say rectangle, so you're not limited. So you could do something a little bit different like this, maybe. And let's check our work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my area is eight, now let's check my perimeter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, sorry, 12, So I end up with, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I have a perimeter of 12, so therefore it is a correct shape for this. The next it says, find the area of a rectangle that is a 6 inch by 2 inch. Justify your reasoning. So um, you would have to say that area equals length times width. And it says that the area is 6 and the width is 2. And that would give you 12, and it says inches, and area is always squared. So to make sure that you justified your reason, you would have to say area equals length times width. The length is 6, the width is 2. So if I multiply that, I end up with 12 inches squared. Find the perimeter. Find the perimeter of the rectangle. So for perimeter, if I were to just kind of sketch a picture of this, here's my six by two rectangle. For perimeter, I would just go ahead and label the sides that aren't labeled and add them all up. Six plus six is 12, and two plus two is four, and 12 plus four is 16. So for 16 inches. And to justify my reason, I could show my picture and then also say that perimeter equals two lengths plus two widths. So two sixes plus two twos equals 16 inches. Name two formulas to find the perimeter of a rectangle. We talked about two formulas. Perimeter equals two length plus widths, or perimeter equals two lengths plus two widths. Bob decides to build a tree house for his kid. He only has enough wood to have a perimeter of 30 feet have a perimeter of 30 feet. Fill out the chart below with a possible scenario. So I already know all my perimeters have to be 30. So now I need to come up with some lengths and widths that um, would add up to a perimeter of 30. So to do that, I could start with dividing 30 by two, which is 15. Well, if I made one of these 15, then that would already be 30. That means I, would ha I wouldn't have any width. So I'm gonna go one smaller than that, and I'm gonna say 14. My length is 14. So if my length is 14, that means if this was 14, let's draw a little picture down here. What would this have to be that if I added everything up, it would be 30. So if this is 14, this is 14. So that means I already have 28. So that means I only have two left for my side. So that means each side must be one. What if I made this smaller? What if I said my length was 13? That means I already have 26. That means I only have four left. So that means each of these has to be two. What if I move this to 12? 12 and 12 is 24. That means I have six left to get to 30. So that means each of these must be three. If I made them 11, that's 22. That means I have eight left. That means these each must be four. If I made my length 10, then that would be 20. That means I have 10 left, which means these have to be five. 
If I made this nine, that would be 18. So this would be each six. And eight would be 16. And that means each of these would have to be seven. So now to find my area, we do length times width to get to area. 14 times one is 14. 13 times two is 26. 12 times three is 36. Four times 11 is 44. 10 times five is 50. Nine times six is 54. Seven times eight, eight times seven is 56. Um, B, what dimensions give him the largest and smallest areas? So for the largest area, I'm gonna look under area. The largest area would be if the rectangle was eight by seven because it gives me an area of 56, which is the biggest number here. The smallest area would be the 14 by one because we have a 14 as the smallest area. If each child needs four square feet, how many children can go into the tree house? Explain your reasoning. So this could be number of kids. If each kid needs four square feet, that just means we have to take the number of square feet we have and divide it by four. If it's not a whole number, it doesn't count. So for instance, four doesn't go into 14, but it goes to 12, which is three times. And it would give me a remainder of a half, basically, or 0.5. Well, we can't say 3.5 kids. We can't say three and a half kids. So the most number of kids we could have would be three. So if I divide this by four, again, I have to get the closest one that fits. So in this case, it would be six. It would have a remainder, but you can't have a remainder of a kid. Nine, 11, 12, um, one, three, 13, and 14. Okay. So here's your number of kids. For justifying your reasoning, you would have to say something along the lines of, um, I took the amount of square feet each rectangle had to offer or each figure had to offer, divided it by four feet since each kid needs four feet, and that tells me how many kids each shape could accommodate. And I would also say something in there along the lines of you can't have a fraction of a kid or a decimal part of a kid. So you have to round down because you can't have part of a kid and you can't round up. Hope this was helpful. Bring it for a grade on Thursday. See you then.